Good morning from Sofia in Bulgaria. The capital of Bulgaria. Yes, it is. And the largest city as well. Is it? We, yeah, it is. We actually passed through here on our way to Plovdiv. By now, hopefully you've watched our other Bulgarian uh, vlogs, which we really, really liked Plovdiv. Thank yeah, you. it was awesome. So underrated. So go and watch those if you haven't already. Yeah, for sure. So uh, yeah, today is our first day exploring Sofia. This is obviously a bigger city, so we had to, we've got a lot more to discover, I reckon. We've got the first thing that we want to do is actually go and have the, what's it called, Mikitsa? Is that right? I think so. It's like Bulgarian fried bread. For, it's like traditional for breakfast. We had our sights set on it, aka Stace had his sights set on having it in Plovdiv and the place was, we were 10 minutes late and they wouldn't let us have it, so you found a good spot you reckon? I hope so. <laughs> There's so much pressure on this the second time that we're going out, but then we're going to go and check out some of the big monuments and all of the like... The main sites. The main yeah. sites, so um, this is like, uh, yeah, we're just going to go along and discover what the feel of Sofia is. Do they have any though? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> do you have coffee? Yeah, I think coffee behind you. So we've, oh, yeah, we found a food menu here. They do have them. The lady told us how to pronounce it. Uh, it's not, it's more Miketsa, we think anyway. So these are the tradi more traditional options. We're gonna go for a, a cream cheese and jam because it's a combination of these ones and an Italian banana, obviously. I'm so glad that this place was open. We're still open with like half an hour before it closes. So I should probably explain like what it is and why I'm so excited about it. Basically, it's like a traditional breakfast, even though we're kind of more lunchtime. It's 12 30. And it's made from like kneaded, kneaded dough. And I think there's also yogurt in the mix somewhere as well. And then it's deep fried. Okay, I'm going to try the traditional one. It's got the, um, the jam and the cream cheese. definitely worth the adventure to try and find because it's like it's so doughy it's so crispy i don't know what the flavor jam is maybe it's like plum jam yeah, and cream cheese right. so yeah. it's like it's got the best combination on it anything with nutella always tastes good though right so good but See, I'd have to listen to you, it's weird because it's like, it is really doughy and it's really fluffy, but it's also quite dense as well. And then it's crisper on the outside and it's hot. But it's not sweet either. Like normally something like this, you'd think that it would be sweet on the inside as well. But I think because it's made with the yogurt, it's like, it's got quite a mellow taste and it's more about like the texture. Then it, which is why then you go and coat it in, <laughs> coat it in Nutella. This is, um, thank you, babe. Thank you for taking me out for this extremely healthy Bulgarian brunch. That was delicious. I'm pleased we. That was so good. I'm pleased we managed to hunt them down. Um, now we're gonna, we're trying. We're, one of the plans today is there's a changing of the guard that we really want to see, but uh, it's next to a cathedral, and they're yes. only every hour on the hour. Yeah, and we got a bit carried away with our <laughs> Mikitsa. Mikitsa. Uh, so we might catch the end of it if we're lucky. Otherwise, we're going to go to the cathedral now, and then we'll hang around just sort of in the more central area. So I think we're still sort of on the outskirts. Where we're staying is definitely on the outskirts. We've walked to this place here and we think just over this side is where the sort of the hub of all the cathedrals and some of the more interesting sites are anyway. The area that we're walking through into now is definitely starting to get a little bit more upmarket. We can see there's a, a lot more, like the, the buildings are painted nicer. There's little courtyards and stuff that we've spotted. There's open little parks and seating areas and all sorts of stuff. There's definitely, you can tell that we're getting more into the touristy stuff because where we walked from, where we came from this morning before we stopped for the treats then was probably, to be honest, probably the largest collection of graffiti that I think we've seen anywhere. There was quite a lot in Bucharest, but I feel like 
those residential areas of Sofia where we're staying at least was there was a lot of graffiti um, but I can definitely tell even just looking down the street down now here oh wow look how stunning that is that uh, yeah a big difference so if I have a look here like this you start to see how much nicer things are starting to get the deeper that we get into sort of the more more touristy spots and they're doing a lot of work as well looks like they're they're redoing all of this park area everything that's behind all of this for a bit more tourism make it a little bit nicer So this is the St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. As far as cathedrals go, it's probably one of the craziest colors that I think we've seen. I always love how they have the gold or like the brass sort of integrated within, but this one looks like whatever color it was before has faded and changed quite a lot. But it's one of the largest, uh, let me get my words right, one of the largest Eastern Orthodox cathedrals in the entire world. It can hold 10,000 people in there, which is probably why it's in this enormous <laughs> car park. There's no one really around. It's quite, it's quite weird. I don't really know anyone's here, but I think somewhere around here is where the changing of the guard normally happens, but we've just missed it by a little bit of time. So we're gonna linger around and then try and catch it afterwards. Cause those, um, even though like the, uh, the tradition is very similar from country to country in terms of the changing of the guard, I think actually watching it and seeing the clothing that they wear, the music, like the, the style or how exactly they change over is the thing that really makes it. Well, we bolted for about 15 minutes across town. <laughs> I am sweating. <laughs> it is really, really hot today. I think it's about 30 degrees and the changing of the guard was very short. I think either we missed the first couple minutes of it or it was literally just they did like one little circuit and then they swapped over. That is the shortest changing of the guards I've ever seen in my yeah. life. I, I feel like we must have missed it, but we were right on time, yeah, on the hour. So I think so. Oh well. But apparently there's one that happens, is it once a week on a Wednesday or something? Where oh, they, I think it's the first Oh, the, the first, first Wednesday, Wednesday yeah, of where, every month. Where they do a longer one and there's a bit more of a like ceremony and a procedure. Um, but it's always, like I said, like seeing what they wear and seeing yeah. how they do it is always really cool. So this is the, um, the presidency building and we're not 100% sure what what happens uh, yeah. in there? We could spitball, but we've just been making it up. As soon as you went, oh, I was like, I know you're going to make something up. Everybody would know if we were like, yes, yeah, so. We um... uh, two things left on our list that we want to see. One's the oldest building in Sofia, and one is the statue of Sofia. The statue of Sofia. So just over the other side of this building here is where we just watched the changing of the guard, and now we've come around, around the actually around this side, and it's funny standing here because there's like Cartier. Then you've got these nice little uh, restaurants and stuff here. Look quite traditional actually. Um, out on this cobblestone sort of courtyard that we're in. And this is St. George Rotunda, which is one of the oldest preserved buildings in Sofia. Apparently it was built in the fourth century. I'm not really sure if there's much that you can see here other than just it's literally right in the building of this of the middle, sorry, the building that's that's building and middle in one of this uh, presidency building and they've just kept it right here and preserved it. So 
So that's the statue of Sophia behind me there. What's a bit weird is that it almost looks, when you walk up to it, it looks Egyptian, but apparently it's sort of Greek based. And she's holding um, a couple of little things that symbolize there's a little, there's a bird and then a, a wreath I think she's holding. That's supposed to symbolize um, wisdom and peace. So it seems like a lot like Plovdiv, there's a lot of ruins here. They go back, so you can see that's the street level. And there's just all of these ruins all the way along here. There's a little church in the middle there. And back up behind me is the statue as well. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing the sort of the top touristy things to do in Sofia, isn't it really? Yeah, I feel like we kind of jam-packed as much as we possibly could. <laughs> yeah, it is so hot, we are so drained. Normally, at this point, we'd be like sitting down, having a beer in the sun somewhere. We actually feel really dehydrated. We didn't really anticipate it was that warm today or that we were going to cover. I think we've walked about 5Ks according to my phone. So, Feels like mad, he mad healthy. Mad healthy. <laughs> so, we're going to go back anyway now and uh, cook some dinner, but nothing too exciting to show here. We've got lots more to come up from Sophia. Maybe two or three more videos before yep. we're going to Greece and then we can actually be in like swimming stuff and enjoying. And enjoying the heat properly. So thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the comments.